We stage colon and rectal cancer according to how deeply it's invaded into the body. So stage one colon cancer, the malignant cells have invaded into the muscle of the bowel wall, but not through it. And there is no tumor in any of the lymph glands. Stage two colon and rectal cancer, the tumor has invaded through the muscle of the uh, bowel, but it is not in any lymph glands. Stage three colon or rectal cancer has invaded uh, either into the muscle or through the muscle of the bowel wall. But the thing that distinguishes stage three cancers is that the cancer is present in lymph glands. So it's spread into the lymphatic vessels that drain every part of the body, but in this particular case, the colon or rectum, and can be seen in the lymph glands around the bowel. And stage four, the, the most advanced stage of colon and rectal cancer, the malignant cells have spread to another organ, most commonly the liver, but it could be the brain, the bone, anywhere else in the body. So stage one colon and rectal cancer, the treatment is surgery. We remove the tumor and the bowel around it. We send it to the laboratory for inspection. We find that the margins are clear, and basically that patient is cured and doesn't need any more treatment. For stage two disease, it depends on how big the tumor is. We have to, as surgeons, get clear margins. So we can't leave any tumor behind. And you can tell that by an inspection of the specimen that you've removed from the patient. So if the margins are clear, it's stage two disease, the lymph nodes are clear, then generally that's enough treatment for that patient and the chances of cure are very high, about 90%. If it is stage three colon or rectal cancer and the lymph nodes are involved, then that patient is at higher risk of having cells spread elsewhere and in particular to the liver. And we can reduce that risk by giving chemotherapy. So in general, chemotherapy is given to stage three disease. Stage four disease, the chances of cure are low. Unfortunately, 10% or less, because the cancer is already spread to some other organ. And generally, um, that the cancer that's spread is not removable surgically or not curable surgically. So all of those patients will get chemotherapy uh, but the chances of dying from the disease are quite significant.